all by acknowledging and thanking our people who has been going literally nonstop since the hurricane um, passed by um, in early mornings of, of Friday morning. Um, it's now this, I think, is, is day five after the hurricane. And, um, and our staff uh, on all islands has been working flat out. And even though that communication on the sister islands has just been uh, non existent, but I want to recognize the resourcefulness the, and the industry of our staff in places like uh, Middle Caicos and North Caicos. Kong Bar, they got Kong Bar up, being very resourceful in, use, in using the standby power generation that we have there in, in, in Middle Caicos. They're working in queue in Sandy Point and getting those, some of those areas up. I can also report that we have now power back to the airport and South Caicos and now working to get power to the water plant in South Caicos. We have power to the water plant in, in, um, in Grand Turk and working to get power to the prison and to get po power to other key areas in Grand Turk. So I want to thank our, our people. And in addition to that, we now have a contingent of about 58 people, 58 people from across the Fortis group of companies who have now joined that, joined that a local contingent. And those people have now all been deployed to all islands, um, North Caicos, uh, Grand Turk, South Caicos, and of course a, a major part of the contingent is now left here on, on Provo. We have made significant progress since the hurricane. About one third of our system and I want to point that is the system, not necessarily the customers. Um, one third of the system has now been restored in Providencialis. Power has been restored to all key essential services, airport, water, um, hospital, um, and, and t t even the, the telecom companies, because we understand how important that infrastructure is to the country. We've got to get this country up and running and open for business.